Hi, this is Starcy Athena, and I am here to channel a message for humanity. Now, a lot of times people, they'll ask me questions, and one of the most reoccurring questions that I get is, why is the question, who are you, so important? And if you think about it, who are you was one of the main themes in Alice in Wonderland. Okay. So down the rabbit hole Alice went. What does it do for us? When you ask yourself, who am I? The only thing you can do is close your eyes. You have to look inside of yourself to find yourself. So a lot of times when people say, who am I, who am I, who am I, they look at the reality to define them and they can't find it in an outside construct because it's an inside projection that's an outside reflection. So I'm gonna back up because that's a little fast for people, but this is a mirror. We're currently right now living in a hologram. And so as the projector, like a movie projector, I project out onto this beautiful landscape my reality. What you see behind me came from within me. Now, what does that mean in terms for you? Like, how do I go to work and how do I actually use it? Here's how you use it. If you say, I'm going to have an extraordinary day, and then you go into your reality, that shifts the frequency. The traffic opens up, your boss maybe gives you a promotion, maybe you meet the girl of your dreams, just with that frequency going out. So the who am I is meditate with yourself, figure out what that resonance is, believe in yourself, and then take that frequency with you on your path, which is your journey to your becoming. So anyway, that's all for now. It's pretty deep. I can go deeper, but we'll say that for the next YouTube clip. All right, humanity, wake up and look inside. Who are you? That is the question that is proposed in the three magic words. I'm, I had to like just, I had to really just take layers of clothing off, really. I mean, I'm not my identity. I'm not my emotions. I'm not my personality. And I, I just, it just left me with myself looking in the mirror, you know, saying, who am I? And although I can't solve this for you in a 10 minute YouTube clip, what I can do is I can lead you down the path and say, check out the movie for yourself, watch it, but go into yourself and into that mirror and ask that question again and again and see if you don't find something magical inside of you that will answer that question. If you're still attached to your religion, the country you were born in, or the color of your skin, then you might not really know who you are. But if you're interested in finding out, there are several things that you can do. One of the things that I do is I meditate. I usually find a quiet space in nature. I feel nature's best because of the resonance of the beauty. Um, it just kind of gets you out of your human paradigm. And it allows you to sit and close your eyes and go internally and just sit there and wait for something to come up. Now, before, I used to just fall asleep. I'd meditate and then I'd fall asleep and I'd be like, what's up with meditation? This is totally boring. I don't, I don't get it. But then I watched this film. It's called The Three Magic Words. And what the film allowed me to do was to actually start deep breathing and understanding why the meditation was important. And once I got a hold of that resonance, the music of the film was washing over me, the messages that the people were saying about who are you and how you ask the question, that started to permeate through my cells. And then the next time I meditated, a whole other thing happened. I'm not going to say fireworks went off, but what I will tell you is there's something in there very special for each and every one of us. This is Starship Athena sending off to all the humans in humanity on our loving mother called Earth.